I'm gonna travel across the United States with no money. Firstly, I must sneak in the bus luggage. This is the bus that I would sneak in. <laughs> we actually did it. Those two ladies saw him. I hope they don't tell the bus driver. If they tell the bus driver, it's gonna be bad. Look, look, I think she's trying to tell him. Uh oh, I think that lady's trying to tell him. Is she telling him? Now I'll go to my car and we'll follow Phidias. It's probably gonna be freezing later in the bus. You got a four hour ride. The bus started moving. I was supposed to follow it. I lost the bus. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the red light. Oh, there's a cop over there. And this is the luggage. Look at that bus. Guys, this is 100% real. He's really in that bus. Bye bye, videos. This is. Crazy. This bus is going to Las Vegas and the goal is to get to North Carolina with zero money. That means I have to sneak into buses and trains, hitchhike, and I will have to rely on kindness of strangers for food and water. We are getting closer. Vegas, baby! Nobody understood any shit. I was in Vegas for a lot of hours, but accidentally I lost all the videos I took there. Luckily the videos I lost there was not that important, it was just me struggling for 8 hours to find a ride. Finally an old truck driver named Jose agreed to take me Nevada, with him. Arizona. So we just crossed the state, yeah. Arizona. Thank you Jose for everything. So we are speaking with Jose here and we became friends. Of course, we're friends now. You can text me sometimes, so I'm gonna be anything that I can do for you. Thank you hey. for everything. Hey, thank you man, good luck. God bless you man. God bless you. Bye Jose. I will probably never see Jose again in my life, but it was so beautiful that I connected with a human being in such a short time. Now I have to find a place for me to sleep. This is my spot that I will set my sleeping bag for tonight. This is my sleeping bag. This is my bag and I'm afraid of people stealing it. That's why I brought with me this lock to lock my bag on this thing. I hope they don't call the police on me. I'm tired. Morning. Ah. I had kind of a good sleep. I will leave this place now because I got threatened. They will call the cops. You gotta get off the property, okay? Yes. Thank you. Jose from yesterday, he gave me his coat and I can shower to every truck station across the United States. I will be clean. I will be normal again. What? I will shower, sir. Fresh. Back to business. There are the trucks. I will ask every single one. I thought that everything was going well, but they kicked me out. They called the cops on me and they told me if I go back, I will get arrested. I'm trying to find another place with trucks to hitchhike. Now I have to hitchhike in this road there. One person stopped. So I found the ride to Texas. This is our truck. We stopped to put gas and we are going now to Dallas, Texas. Doing this, you see, strangers care. Uh, I don't know how they do this job. They spend hours and hours and hours in the truck. It's boring. He got us some ice cream. People are nice. People are good. Ah, thank you for the ice cream. Sun is going down. We are still in New Mexico. This will take us more than I thought. Traveling with no money across the United States is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> we came to McDonald's. He brought me here. He bought me food. He's going to continue taking me with him. He was so generous. I asked him if he's that generous with everybody and he said that yes, he's like that with everybody and that's amazing, it moves my heart, it's beautiful. 
This is my first proper meal in my challenge. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so this is the back of the truck. And I will sleep now in my sleeping bag. And we are going to wake up in a couple of hours to continue our journey. How many hours to go? Three hours. We are getting close. One thing I feel is that I learned a lot of stuff about the United States in this trip. This is what we are carrying in our truck. So we came to reload the thing that we have in the back and we are going to load it again and go to Dallas, Texas. Tomorrow is my birthday and I'm going to spend my 21st birthday traveling across the United States. Welcome to Texas, we made it! Texas, baby. Thank you for everything. Oh boy. Oh my God. And the show goes on. Thank you, bro. I love you. It's my birthday today, <laughs> April 10th. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. I'm enjoying the trip, and this is cool. Great. The whole thing has been a bit stressful. But we're getting close to North Carolina, so I'm not that stressed. Back to business. I will ask these trucks to give me a ride. Hopefully they accept and I don't stay here for hours. It's 4.30 in the morning, not a lot of trucks. Please, anyone, birthday present, a ride. It's freezing cold. I've been trying one and a half hour now without any result. We are three days in the challenge. I don't know how many days it will need this to finish, but we are going to finish it. I'm ready to call my family for them to wish me happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Good luck, Ravidia. I love you so much. I miss you. Good luck. Good luck. Let's go, Fidias. You can do it. You can do this. I love you. This is all I wanted for my birthday. Now I'm happy. While I was in the gas station asking for rides, I made lots of friends and they suggested me a different approach. We are going to speak to other drivers from the CP now and ask them if they can give me a ride. I'm trying to get, uh, get this guy a ride to Atlanta. He's trying to travel across the country uh, without paying any money. All we can do is try, you know? Even if we don't get a help, this is cool. Yes. We didn't have any luck with the CP. Radio check. A man saw what I was doing and he bought me a drink and gave it to me. That's cool. People are nice. It's my birthday present. I'm looking for a ride. No, we're going to one. I found a person to take me. Yes, yes, yes. This is his truck and we are going to get ready to go tonight. He's very cool man. We are not going to North Carolina yet, but we are going close and I have to sneak inside the train there. I spent about 24 hours in this truck station and I'm finally leaving. This is the best truck I ever been inside. Look at this. So oh, this is the place that I will sleep. All my journey it was no woods, no nothing, and now we have forest. This is beautiful journey, I like it. I do stupid videos that are extremely difficult and so cool that I get to live all these experiences and I can share it with you guys. It's the coolest thing ever. Offered me pizza. <laughs> This is my truck driver from the back. My truck has been the best truck I've ever been. I want to give me any wishes, anything that you liked about it. It's kind of uh, a blessing, I think, uh, more than anything. And I hope he gets to where he's going. It's going to be tough from here, I think, but I, I think he's going to do it. He's got that mindset. Bye bye, truck. You've been amazing to me, truck driver. Back to business. I am in Atlanta, Georgia. So now I have to find a way to go to the train station. I'm going to wait in the bus stop now and I will ask the driver to give me a free ride to the station. Thank you. So the bus driver let me come for free in the bus and now we're going to the train station. Finally. Thank you sir for the free ride. This is Atlanta, Georgia and it's getting darker. 
Stress level 100. I'm so excited and stressed. The plan is when everyone goes in the train, I go with them. I go lock myself inside the train toilet and I come outside the toilet when we arrive to North Carolina. So this is the train. I walked inside and immediately locked myself in the toilet. I stayed inside the toilet for four hours because I didn't have a train ticket. Hi, thank you. Nobody understood anything. Oh my god. Can I ask you a question? This is North Carolina? Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> North Carolina? I'm here. I started from California and I'm here now in North Carolina. Yes. I hope I won your subscribe. See you next time. Bye.